In this video, I will show you the projections of normal lines. That means how we could just project if the given line is a normal line. First, we'll discuss what normal line is. So a normal line means when that line is parallel to either of one of the principal axes here. In this case, we have x, y, and z axis in this way. So if the line is parallel to either of one axis, and then if it is perpendicular to the other two axes, we call it as a normal line. In this case, this line is parallel to the z axis. If you look into this one, this is parallel to in the z axis, but it will be perpendicular to x and y axis here. So we call it as a normal line. It might not be just like this one. The vertical line can be also a normal line if that is parallel to either of the three axes. So to be a normal line, it should be parallel to either of the three axes and then perpendicular to the other or the remaining two axes. So we call it as a normal line. So this is a normal line. In this case, this normal line is placed in this way. Uh, to understand the exact position, if you just look here, it might have some ambiguity where the line is really on the 3D axis. So to show you this uh, clear locations of the line, I will show you with a demonstration here. So if you look over this animation, it can uh, give us the exact positions of the line. So if you look over here, the line is just like this one. If you look over here, so this is just like a point A, this can be as a point B. So you can see here, this line is just this much above from the horizontal plane and then this much from this here to here the vertical plane and then from the profile plane it is far from here that means in the x axis it will be far from here and then in the y it will have this height and then in the z direction it will have this dimension so the line is on this position so what will be it is front it is side and it's top view seems like so to get the front view and the side and the top view let's just construct it is viewed in this way. We are just constructing it with a first angle projection technique. That means the object is placed between the observer and the projection plane. So if the person or if the observer is just looking this object from this part into this, it will be the front view. So the front view of the line will be projected in this way. Just if you look over here, this line is distorted into a point. Did you see this? When you look from this direction, this line will be changed into a point that means if you just emit a light from this direction the line will have a shadow of a point it might not have a line as it is so it will be the point so it will be diminished into the point as a front view so where is the exact locations of that front view the exact locations of that front view will be from here to here it will have the x component and then from here to here it will have a y component so both endpoints of the line is align at the same point or at the same place and then make them as a point just like this AF and BF. That means AF means A front view and BF means B front view. That, that means point A and point B front view will be aligned to each other and then make one point here. And then the other one, if you look over here, the remaining parts will be on the top view, it will be aligned on this plane and then the side view will be on the profile plane and then they will align on this line. So when you look from the directions of the right side view, the line will be just projected in this way. That means point A will be placed here and then point B will be in this way. So this is point A of right side view. This is point B of right side view. And then if you connect them, you'll get the exact lengths of the object. That means the projection lengths will have the same size as the given object there. So if the given object is 10 centimeter that means the projection length will be also 10 centimeter and then the other one when you look from the top view it will be projected into the horizontal plane just like this and then the line will be projected in this way so point b will be from here to here and then point a will be from here to here and then finally when you connect that you'll get the projection of the line on the top view and then this length is also a true length that means having the same length if it has uh, 10 centimeters it will be 10 centimeters to here so when you look over here the length of the side view and then the height of the top views are the same they are equal in length and even if if you look over the animation it will clearly show us that the top view and then the side views of this normal views are the same from this we can conclude that the normal line will have a true length projection on two views and then it will have a point projection on one view. Normally, in some cases, the projections of the point will be either of 
the three principal plane, but it will have one projection point and then it will have two two lengths projection lines just like this one. If that is, then we call it as a normal line projection. Let's just use one example here for the illustration part. Now locate the given line in the standard coordinate system and then sketch their front, top and side projection using first angle projection system. So this is the question and then the line is given us line AB where A is 2, 3, 4 in the X, Y, Z respectively and B, the location of point B is 6, 3 and 4 centimeter X, Y, Z respectively. So this is the question. If the question is just stated in this way, so how we could just project the front, the side, and the top of you at the same time, how we could even place the exact locations of the point on this 3D axis system. The first step is just you will construct the X, Y, and Z axis system in this way. That means each axis will have 120 degree between them. That means between X and Y, it will be 120 degree. Between Y and Z, it will be 120. And then between X and Z, it will be 120 degree. Once you construct this angles, then you can get this line. The vertical line is the Y coordinate system. And then the first thing is just let's locate point A here. So where is point A? It is 2 centimeter in the X. That means 2 centimeter in the X means we'll measure with our ruler from here to here, from the origin to here with 2 centimeter. That means we'll just construct this line. This is a construction line. This is a 2 centimeter. And then the other one, in the Y direction, it is 3 centimeter. We can measure 3 cm and then we can construct this construction line. Once we get this line, now the remaining part is in the z direction. The z direction is 4 cm, so parallel to the z axis, we'll align our ruler and then make a 4 cm measurement here. So from here to here is 4 cm and then we can construct that. So this is the end of the point. That means this point A is located over here. So we get the exact locations of point A. Where is the locations of point B? The locations of point B can be constructed with the same procedure. That means for point B, the X component is 6 cm, so we'll align our ruler and then we'll make a 6 cm construction line, which is just constructed with here a yellow color. And then once you do that, it will be X having a 6, and then in the Y direction, it will be 3. That means it's uh, the same as the previous one. So we'll construct a 3, and then finally, we'll construct 4 cm in the Z coordinate system, so you can get that point. So this is point B. Once you get point A and point B, that, that's at the end points of the line, so you can connect them. That means we are constructing line AB. In the other way, we are locating the given line on a given coordinate system. Once we do this, let's just project the front, top, and side views of this part. Where is that one? Now for projecting this, now for a front view, we have already this projection. So the line will be placed over this point and this point. And for the top view, we'll project the lines. You have to remember that the height in the Y direction from here to here will be on the projections we'll have from point A to the top views of that point. And then for point B, for the top points of that point B will be also constructed into this way. And then the line will be constructed over this. If you see from this direction, the heights are equal to 3 cm. And then the other one from the front view, we can simply construct it in this way because the front view is taking the X and Y coordinate system and then they will be at the positions of X and Y coordinate system. They may not be depend on the Z coordinate system. Now, when you try to just find out the views, that means the front, the top, and the side view projection, so we can use this coordinate system that means it will be just a plane like this one so once we have this the front view will be placed here the side view will be placed here and the top view will be placed here this is from the 3d dimension or from the xyz coordinate system as it is as a three dimension indicators but in this way it is a two-dimensional layout that means the projections will be placed over here so the front view means when we try to construct the front views of any line you have to construct the projections of the end pointers on that plane. So the front view will take X and Y as we had discussed it. So the projections of point A, that means point A of X and Y will be constructed here. Point A in the X is 2 cm. So we'll measure a 2 cm just like this one from here to here. It's 2 cm. We'll construct a vertical line here. 
and the other one in the y direction to 3 cm. So from here to here, we'll measure a 3 cm and then we'll construct a horizontal line. That intersection point will be the exact location of point A. So we we'll call it as AF. That means point A front view, front view of point A. And then the other one, for point B, we can construct from here to here. That means it's a 6 cm in the x direction. So we'll have a vertical line construction from here to here. But the y coordinate is equal to as the point A, so it will be 3 centimeters. So they will intersect at this point. So once they intersect at that point, the projections of point B on the front view will be BF and then it will be located over this. Once you get that, you can connect them and then you'll get the projections of the line AB on the front view. And then the other case, for the top view, we can just construct in this way. In the top view, we use the Z component or the Z coordinate system. That's a 4 cm. So 4 cm can be here and then we can construct a horizontal line. Once we construct that, we can get both the projections of A and B at this point. So the first one will be AT and the second one will be BT. So if you just connect them, you will get AT, BT line here. That means the projection of line AB on the top view will be AT and BT and then that means from here to here. And then the other thing for the profile plane, we'll construct it from the Z component. That means Z is now 4. So from here to here, we'll measure 4 and then we'll construct a line just like this one. But since there is no additional line or additional point, that means the two pointers will be aligned to each other. It will be just a point. That means the projections of this line will be a point. So it can be just BR. That means the projections of point B on the right side view and the projections of point A on the right side view will be this one and then they will align at that point. So the projections of the line will be converted into a point on the side view. Since it is a normal plane, the projections of the line on two plane will be aligned with the same size, but it will be a point on the other side. And then if you want to know more about projections of other types of lines like inclined line and a normal line, even projections of points, you might get the link on the video description. So thank you for watching this video and then see you soon.